Welcome back and today we're going to be checking out the Griffin Co Scout 2.5. This is my second Scout. The original one is here and they made some changes that I enjoy a lot. First off they did the fold over pancake style sheath so it's a lot uh, skinnier especially for my EDC fixed blades. That's kind of important to me. And also another thing that I didn't love on my original one, which don't get me wrong, I still love this one, is the dark blasted finish because that opens it up for corrosion. Well, in this newer drop that are available now, we'll pin links to this down in the description, you now have a beautiful stone wash finish and on the hardware. I think it looks better and it's not going to corrode as easy and you have the new sheath. Very nice Kydex sheath. You got a nice push off point right there. Listen, nice positive click. Got a nice little push off ramp there for your thumb. I'm rocking it with a Alti clip. Um, I love these things. Uh, you can wear them inside the waistband, clip to your pocket. I tend to run it through my belt loop and hook this right here to my belt loop. Works really good for appendix carry or uh, scout carry, however you want to carry it. But excellent uh, Kydex sheath. It's uh, decently thick too. It's not the flimsy stuff. You got a nice little drain hole right there. Might open that up a little bit more. Uh, but nice retention, no rattle in that sheath. The OEM for the Scout is Best Tech, and they always do a good job with their OEM work, at least in my experience. This is the perfect size for me for EDC. It's a total length of six and a half inches. I like anywhere from six and a half to seven is usually how I like my EDC fixed blades because they're a lot easier to carry and easier to conceal if I would want to do that. Uh, this one has a nice drop point blade, so it's going to be useful for a lot of stuff. It's an, I, I usually like my tips a little bit lower, but this one performs really nicely. Got a nice top swedge up there, good jimping that's nice and grippy. I do like my jimping on my fixed blades. Um, it definitely grabs a hold of that thumb. It's not uncomfortable. You do have a sharpening choil that clears that plunge, and you should have a lot of sharpening light before it starts to widen up in the back. The blade steel on these is S35VN. And you can see the Griffin Co. Uh, logo right there. And if you didn't know, Griffin Co. is also combat beads. If you knew one, not the other. Uh, they're out of Canada. And uh, yeah, so far I've liked everything that they put out. You got a nice robust tip there for doing any kind of, you know, boring stuff, type stuff. If you need to do some piercing work, you can do that as well. We have a flag run that comes down to around 17 thousandths behind the edge. So this thing should be a pretty good little slicer. Let's find out. The knife came with a really good out of edge out of box and was performing really, really nice. Uh, even though you only have a two and a half inch blade, you can still get a quite a bit of stuff done. Um, and it definitely showing here. Uh, passing through the material fastly and uh, comfortable so far. I know this is just light duty stuff, but enjoying it. Uh, we definitely definitely heated up that blade because we are doing even though it's sped up. I'm, I'm cutting this stuff very, very fast. The uh, only reason I do that is because it will start to fatigue that edge if, if you know if the if the steel isn't good or done well, it will start uh, it'll start dulling it out rather quickly. Now we're going to test the ergos and see how well that edge is wanting to bite into this piece of birch. And uh, right away it was making fine curls effortlessly. And it's an excellent blade shape for doing that type of stuff. Uh, one thing that I did notice, and it wasn't anything that bothered me, but uh, the way the handle is, you have a big choil then a smaller choil behind it. If your two fingers happen not to fit in that larger choil in the front and then you're going to be sitting on a hump onto the metal frame so i guess it just depends on the size of your hands mine fit nicely i was able to get a lot of power into the wood uh, whenever i wanted to and the contoured my card scales felt good in my hand now we're going to the three quarter inch uh sisal rope uh once again i'm still out of the half inch sisal rope <laughs> and uh yeah it's got a nice bit of bite to this edge and it's 
you know, it's doing well. Uh, the, the only problem with this rope that I'm using right now is it, it likes to separate because it's not very tightly woven. So sometimes it might look like the knife is struggling. It's more me struggling because it's, it's smushing the rope down. But uh, definitely is uh, doing a good job. I'm able to get a really solid grip in the pinch grip because the scales have a nice little divot on both sides. I love it when they do that. It's it, it gives me something else to hold on to. And I think that's kind of where this fixed blade will shine in that little pinch grip right there. Um, I was locked in, able to get a lot of downward force. You got good jimping to stop you from sliding forward any. <laughs> and I end up getting through, I think, 45 cuts, which is uh, really good, especially with this uh, thicker rope. Well, while I was in the middle of doing this testing, my grandbaby asked me if I could cut her up an apple. And I figured, why not do it with this uh, fixed blade? You know, just one more thing that you could possibly be doing with your EDC fixed blades. And it performed nice, really nice. I was able to skin the, uh, pull the skin off rather, rather easily because, of course, my, my grandbaby won't eat the skin. So um, it, it, it did nice. It uh, didn't split the apple or anything because the edge isn't super thick or anything and yeah definitely do this task rather easily uh, once I was done I just rinsed it off with water dried it off real good and you're good to go S35VN is uh, pretty corrosion resistant you just don't want to leave it you know wet or anything but definitely good to handle this job rather easily now we're going on to the rest uh, dry cuts work well. You're not going to be able to get the tip down as easy. I, I just used a belly and for that it worked great. All these other tasks where you're kind of pushing that belly into what you're cutting. It's really, really going to excel, especially on a flat cutting surface. As you can see, it's blasting through all this other material, no problem whatsoever. And I'm kind of shocked on how fast it's going through it. Um, still have a ton of bite when we get to this denim. And like I always say, this is some pretty rough denim here. Um, I'll be glad to run out of this and go back to the 8 ounce denim. Alright, let's see how that edge is after that cutting. Nice. Alright, now let's take a look at the handle. Uh, you can get it in several different scale options. This is the black canvas micarta. This is what the natural canvas micarta looks like. You can also get it in olive drab micarta or uh, brass or titanium and also shred carbon fiber. They all look amazing. It's, it's definitely a hard one to choose. The scales have been shadow boxed to the actual uh, tang of the knife and there's no sharp edges on that tang as you can see there's a chamfer that's going all the way around the entire uh, length of the scale of the handle area uh, the scales are nice and contoured and one thing i love about these is how they put the little uh chamfer right here so you can do those pinch cuts get up in there and you got something to when you're pulling back you got something to hold on to and it's nice and comfortable very nicely done. You got bolt-on construction just in case you have to, you know, take these off and dry off underneath. It is skeletonized underneath that frame to lighten up the knife. I think the knife has a good weight to it. Your hardware, satin finished stainless steel T8 construction. You do have a lanyard hole, which is something I do like on my fixed blades just in case you needed a little bit extra to grab a hold to. Grab a quick weight without the sheath of 3.026 ounces and with the sheath and multi-clip is 4.67 so whatever the ulti clip weighs minus that i must say weight wasn't a factor for me at all because i carried this pretty much every single day i was at blade show this year on the front part of my belt and i completely forgot it was there most of the time so definitely easy one to carry now two minor nitpicks that i, I want to talk about is if I could change anything else on the knife, maybe add a little swell right here or a little bit more thickness to these scales because they're coming in at 0.472. That said, it, it didn't bother me any, but you know, after prolonged cutting for a long time, your wrists and your forearms are going to start to cramp up because you're going to have to squeeze onto the handle a little bit tighter. But, you know, most of my EDC fixed blades are like that, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Now, one thing that I, I would also change if, you know, if this was my design, 
is this hump right here. Now luckily for me, these two fingers fit good and then these two fingers fit behind there so they fit perfect for me. Now anybody with a bigger hand than me or fatter fingers than me, you might be landing on this hump, which it's not uncomfortable because they did a good job of rounding that over right there. So, you know, I, I can't tell you whether it would, it would bother you or not. It doesn't bother me in any, at, at all, uh, no matter what grip I hold it in. I don't think I'd ever use this in this grip unless I was coming down on something, but it's comfortable here as well. So, you know, that's just a very minor nitpick. And like this doesn't bother me but it does kind of force you into a certain grip they could have been excellent just to have it you know come out a little bit wider here and just just take this taper all the way because i love this drop right here that always makes for a very comfortable handle and for some quick size comparisons we have it by the se azula and the crkt spew next is the white river backpacker in the bench bay hidden hidden canyon the hidden canyon is the best size reference i have and lastly, with the Artisan Sea Snake and the Bradford Guardian 3. And nitpicks and complaints, we already talked about them. You know, very minor nitpicks, maybe thicker or a swell up here in the middle. And, you know, I, I, would, I could do without that. But like I said, it fits my hand perfectly. So overall, my thoughts, I absolutely love the knife. Um, you know, especially with the new, the new sheath and... Now the stone watch finish because I'm not wor as worried to carry this during the summertime because most of my blasted uh, knives, no matter what steel they are, unless they're in like uh, Vanex or something, are uh, completely stain resistant steel. They always end up corroding on me. So definitely glad to see those changes and I'm glad to see these are back in stock. You can get these at DLT. I'll have it linked below or you can get it on their site depending on where you're living. Overall, excellent, excellent package. I think I already said it, but these come in at $185 and you know, I think it's a, a well, well done knife worth the money. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.